Hey, what's up guys? It's Online Money 24 seven and today we're gonna be going over how to set up your Shopify store's Instagram for dropshipping. So you guys wanna start a dropshipping Shopify store, you don't know how to set up your Instagram account? Well, today we're gonna be going through that and so in a second here, I'm going to switch over to my phone so I can go ahead and show you on the Instagram app, step-by-step -step, kind of how I set up a previous store that I used to run and manage and what it kind of looked like, whether you know it's the bio, the pictures, just a second, we're gonna switch over and we'll be on my phone in three, two, one, now. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we are now on my phone and the page that I used to actually run is called uh, Shopping Seduction. So as you can see, this is the page here, uh, the picture, as you can see the description, how everything was set up. Um, basically on this page, I just posted a bunch of videos for black face masks and uh, different acne type products that I used to sell. If you were to try and click the URL, it is no longer actually active. Uh, I sold it to someone, they tried to run the store for a little bit, just because I didn't really feel like running it anymore, I just want to get rid of it. Um, so I sold off the email list and everything that was associated with that, and so they bought it from me, they no longer run the domain, I think they kind of just gave up on running the store and trying to advertise. They probably weren't too experienced with um, advertising to an email list or Facebook marketing, so they didn't really want to continue, but that's on them. Uh, so if you know if you try and go here and click it, you can't actually go to it, but the whole purpose of this video is to show you how I set up the Instagram page. So how exactly did I set this all up? So as you can see, it's important to have like a product name in the actual title, so if people were to search Black Mask, this would potentially come up because I have Black Mask as the title of the page. The actual uh, URL is shopping underscore seduction. So if someone were to come here and search shopping seduction, as you can see, that is the thing that comes up. Now, for some reason, this other page came up. Interesting. Um, I don't really know what these pages are. I guess other uh, pages that people are selling stuff on or whatever. But as you can see, this one comes up first. Um, and then the actual title is Black Mask. So it will show up in Instagram search for Black Mask and for just shopping seduction if someone wanted to go to the page. Um, but that's not really how I get the majority of the traffic to, to this Instagram page when I was running it. Um, the majority would just come through uh, hashtags. So I'm going to show that in a second here. But the whole... So going step by step, how I actually set up the page though, as you can see the title, um, that's how you want to set it up so you can get some SEO ranking within Instagram itself. Um, and then for the description, you typically want to have something uh, the more than 10,000 satisfied customers. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have something that says that specifically. I would recommend saying we ship worldwide because you do. When you're doing drop shipping, you ship to the UK, you ship to Austria, you ship to France, uh, uh, you ship to... Um, New Zealand to Brazil. I mean, I had customers in all these different countries that I just listed off, plus many more countless countries. Uh, so you definitely want to have that you ship worldwide because I find that a lot of international people will pop into Instagram. Uh, you know, depending on what influencer you may contact to do a sponsored type post for you, uh, you may get a different demographic that goes into it, but you definitely want to say that you ship worldwide. That's typically. Uh, something you want to put in your there, put in there, as well as a shop here or shop now or whatever you want to put, uh, just some sort of call to action for people to actually see. Yes, click this link here. This is the link to my store uh, where I'm selling my products, and you know you just post your content. You definitely want to post frequently, but that's a whole other thing. Um, that's a whole separate type of video for Instagram. This is just talking about how to actually set up the page with the description there. So as you see, we ship worldwide. A shop here, call, call to action. Um, I also put the best black mass in the world made in the US. You could put made in the US um, just because people find that more trustworthy. Um, obviously, you're selling it from China. Your products are you know, supplied from China, but people don't really know that. I'm not saying to be dishonest uh, with your products, but you know, people, if they see made in the US, they think it's more trustworthy. It, it might work for you. I mean, that's up to you if you want to uh, say that to your customers, but definitely ship worldwide. Very, very key. Now going into the actual posting of how I set this up. Um, so let's go to this one. For example, here, uh, last was posted July 31st, but as you can see, it's just a video, uh, post kind of catches your attention. And then for the description, this is very important. So on your Instagram pages, you know, you want to set something up at the top, oh, sorry, at the top that, um, says the product name, possibly the price, and then available at the link of bio. This is very important. This I found on another page, and it works worked really, really well for me to clearly state like where so they can click. So if they were scrolling, they could just tap in general on there, and it would take them to the page. 
So, cause sometimes it's kind of hard to click with your thumb. You're going to, if you just press that box area where I have the, all the names at shopping suction, at shopping suction, at shopping, the, the, the chance they're actually going to click it is much higher than just having one, uh, to tell you to go to their bio as well as uh, worldwide shipping order here at the website. Cause some people will just search the website URL on Google and then they'll go to the page from there. So that's another, uh, way that you could get some traffic um, to your actual store from Instagram is people will definitely read the description a, a high percentage actually do if they are interested in the product and then below is just a variation of different in, uh, different hashtags but you know we're not talking about hashtags today but that's kind of the formatting we're talking about formatting today that's how you could set up your your bio obviously or your bio for your products um, obviously you know it depends on oh yeah as well as I had shop link and bio for the location. Uh, set up. But you know, that's just how you could set it up. I'm not saying this is the be all end all solution for how to set up your, uh, your Sh Shopify stores, Instagram page, but this is what I did. It worked well for me. You could copy some of this. I'm sure some of you probably will, but I'm not saying this is the be all end all. This was what worked for me on th these specific products. It may be very different for another type of page. Um, but that's just taking a look at this one page that I used to run. Um, there's various other pages that I have worked on as well, but that's a whole different video uh, for different types of things. This is specifically for drop shipping. You know, if you want to sell products from China, uh, this is the type of page that you probably want to set up. Lots of videos. Videos definitely are better than images on Instagram. So I highly recommend setting up a lot of videos. Um, you can find them from other pages, copy, make your own videos as well. That could work. Um, and then obviously for your image, you know, I just put new product here. I, I didn't talk about the image uh, before, but you could put anything that you want for your picture. Uh, just generally something that's going to be uh, catching someone's attention uh, for your image that doesn't, it could be your store's logo that could work as well. Just something that is going to be either branding for your name or someone's going to, it's going to catch their attention when they see that picture and they're going to want to click on it and look at the rest of your profile. Uh, so that's kind of the formatting. There are other factors that go into Instagram that is just, you know, for a separate video another day, but that is how you set up the formatting and how to, how to, how your store's Instagram page would look, you know, the copy for the posts, you know, how it's set up down here or for the actual bio and the page and the images and posting videos. So I hope you guys found this video helpful today. If you do want to get signed up with Shopify, I actually do have a 14 day free trial linked down in the description box below. So you go ahead and click that, get yourself signed up for Shopify if you have not already. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, leave a like, comment down below if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.